Storm we already, make sure you head on over to the link in the description. And while you're there, make sure you check out the awesome items that my friend Fishy released, like this bad hoodie and this awesome pumpkin backpack with a cute little bat coming out of it. And if you want to support my best friend, make sure you use star code Fishy when buying Robux. Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to Adopt Me. Oh my gosh, birthday cake has returned. Don't you worry, we're at the back. Is gonna make a reappearance. I actually think some of you guys missed this account. I honestly didn't miss it at all. I am grateful for a few little things that this account Ooh. has that the other one doesn't. Like this broomstick, for instance. Or, of course, my lovely bat dragons. Today, we are here to talk about eggs. Now, let's go back to the beginning of time. The very first limited gumball machine egg, a safari egg. This is now the hardest to get egg in Adami. It's the rarest egg that exists. It is the egg that holds a giraffe. Now, I want to get some perspective here. Let's look at this giraffe. Very simple. It's animations. I mean, its neck is kind of oddly disconnected from its body. I think it still kind of holds its cuteness factor. Now, as a regular neon, it glows white. Still one of the most valuable pets in the game. That egg is just epic. It has the common pet, the wild for. We even have the meerkat, which is one of the cutest pets, I think. It's just, it's so simple. Like, look at its little, look at its little fists, little nubs for little hands. There's the rare hyena pet, which is also super cool. The elephant pet is honestly so cute. It's like, the animations and like, everything about it, like the details, it's just so simple. Like, look, its tail, it kind of looks like a paintbrush. I feel like when Adopt Me was first creating pets, it was more like a less is more type situation. I had to change back to a parent real quick. I couldn't stand that I was getting tasks while I'm trying to record. Even the lion comes out of the safari egg. This looks just like Simba. Tell me I'm wrong. And then, yeah, like I said, we do get the giraffe. So this was their first egg, and I feel like they hit it out of the park. Every single one of these pets were super cute. Then the jungle egg was next. This egg is so pretty. It's a brown egg, and then it literally has, like, leaves all around it. Okay, you could get the cute cappy bar from here. This pet isn't really that popular. Definitely not as cute as the wild boar, in my opinion. And then you get the black panther, which I actually think is really cute. It's an uncommon pet. It looks kind of very similar to the regular puma than the rhino. I think the rhino was super cute. Again, very simple design. And then what I think is a fan favorite is the brown bear. If you guys look, I have quite a few brown bears of my own. Here's even a neon one for you guys to see. I just think that they're so cute and cuddly. It's just your basic teddy bear. Who wouldn't want this? After the brown bear, you get Harry the platypus. But you know, this is the ultra rare pet from that egg. It's not as desired as some of the pets from the giraffe egg. Did I really just say giraffe egg? But then, you know, they knock it out of the park with the parrot. This is a gorgeous pet. It's probably our most vibrant pet to date. I mean, the primary color is just like a real parrot. How can you go wrong? In neon form, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'm not gonna lie. I just love how only the yellow glows. And then we said bye to the jungle egg and we got my favorite egg. A lot of birds came with this farm egg. We got a chicken, a drake, and a silly duck. Personally, I love the silly duck. And then with the farm egg, you also get the pig. A lot of people love the pig. It's also iconic as a neon, the pink on pink. I just can't stand it. Then one of my favorite pets of all time, the cow is literally why this is my favorite egg. This is the neon cow that I made myself. This is strawberry milk. They will never make another neon as iconic as the strawberry cow. Even the basic cow, it's just so cute. In the next Adopt Me playset, I request that they put the cow. Okay, I literally just messed up my webcam for that. It better have been worth it. I told you guys there was a lot of birds in this egg. Also, TBT to the pool party, the ultra rare llama. Don't think that these are very popular. Then the legendary owl. This pet is iconic. I mean, you ride on its head and as a neon, I don't have a neon owl obviously. As a neon, this is gorgeous. With the farm egg, also gave us this legendary crow, which as a neon, again, just those two birds as neons. Knock it out of the park. So I think that the safari egg was iconic. Jungle egg was okay. Then they really picked up the pace for the farm egg. As you guys know, it all went downhill when the Aussie egg came out. We had no idea that this egg was gonna haunt us for like eight months. It was here way too long. For a long time, I kind of feel like the turtle and the kangaroo were dominating trading servers. All anybody cared about was turtles and kangaroos. It was so many people's dream pets. But honestly, other than that, yes, I have a bajillion bandicoot. The other pets in the egg were kind of underwhelming. I think it's the color scheme of them, all these browns and tans. And listen, that's accurate to what they look like in real life. We got our little friend here, Mr. Emu. 
as a neon, you know, he kind of blends in with the new fall map. We're just taking a little stroll. Almost fell into the river. If you don't hatch a kangaroo or a turtle from this egg, you're not happy. There is the frog pet, but I feel like nobody ever talks about it. I feel like it's like a forgotten about pet. Because you see that green and you just wish it was a turtle. I forgot that there also is the cute koala. But again, all the pets, their colors are just so like muted. Just not as hype, you know? Finally, we were gifted with the fossil egg, which has the most pets out of any egg to date. I don't even know the names of all the pets off the top of my head. So, you know, we had the legendary dodo. Even the T-Rex I thought was really cool. Like, I actually really like this T-Rex. It's awesome. It's kind of spooky. Okay, well, that was a little too close, a little bit too scary. Deinonychus was actually one of, like, the first pets that I wanted from it. The very first pet that I ever hatched was a Dilophosaurus, and I actually think he's one of, like, the prettiest neons ever. The fossil egg was cool. Do not get me wrong. Like, that was cool. The whole live in-game event was really cool. We ran into the problem where it was still here for just way too long. The pets were amazing. That You could tell they were really thought out. Am I missing any? Am I forgetting some? Oh, there was the ultra rare saber tooth. Now here he is in all his glory. But yes, it was here for way too long and then we got the ocean egg. Now guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I saw this ocean egg and I saw the map, I was underwhelmed. I was super underwhelmed. I, I wanted this egg to look different. I don't know exactly what I wanted to be different about it, but I just wanted it to be different. Because I see the starfish that we have from the Star Rewards, but none of the ocean pets even came close to being as cute as a starfish. I can't even find the other ocean pets. I don't even know what they are off the top of my head. It was probably my least favorite egg. And I wanted the ocean egg. Like, I voted for ocean egg when Adami ran that poll. But again, just super underwhelmed by the ocean egg. They hit it out of the park with, like, the safari egg and the farm egg and the Aussie egg legendaries. But other than that, I did not really like the Aussie egg pet. I completely forgot that the Christmas egg was, like, a thing. I didn't know if I was gonna count that. I was just kind of talking about, like, gumball machine egg. Yeah, the mythic egg. Oh my god, it's liter it literally looks like this. Like, it is not, it is not going back. It just looks like this. Let's just hatch this one. Let's just hatch this one and see what we get. Let's just test our luck a little bit and it's a- You're kidding! What has been my luck lately? I just decided to hatch that egg for no reason. Look guys, I got a legend- <laughs> Bro, my luck has been crazy. Um, but while we're on the topic, I actually think the gold horn is like super beautiful. I'm obsessed with this pet. I think the whole concept of taking a neon pet and making the whole color scheme of the pet completely different than like its original one is iconic. Like just look at the difference. Like this pet is beautiful on its own, but then when you just turn the whole thing, those different shades of blue, it's just literally epic. But yeah, the other mythic pets, I'm actually like obsessed with them. The mythic egg is like a really amazing egg. But again, there's just a lot of detail on the pets. And sometimes I think simpler is better. Oh no, I like the Mythic Pets. I think that they did a really good job with the Mythic Egg. I hope it's not gonna stay here for too long. But what I really hope is that we get a Halloween egg. Listen guys, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I don't think that we're getting one. But I would just love if they did. Very obvious that we have some eggs that are good. Some eggs that are like undesired. Again, the farm egg, my favorite egg. It looks like a cow. It has a cow. Get it out of the park. I don't have a safari egg to show you guys. But I do have the jungle egg. You know, some of these eggs are so epic. And I just hope that whatever the next... Why does the eggs keep doing that? I just hope that whatever our next egg is, Adami me hits it out of the park again. Fingers crossed for a Halloween egg, but no promises. Luna, come here, Luna. Luna, come here. Hi. Somebody said, can Luna be in every video? And I don't know about all that. Sometimes she'd be taking her little naps. But you know, if I can remember, I will bother her and ask her to make you guys a little, a little cameo appearance. Oh my gosh, everything's getting messed up. The hair. Oh, I didn't even ask for kisses. I needed kisses today. All right, Luna, say bye. Thank you guys so much for watching.